Hello, my name is Juan Park and I'm going to show you an app called APG which stands for Audio Palindrome Generator. So let me just show you how you can use it and I'm going to explain what I actually mean by Audio Palindrome Generator. So uh, first thing you do is you drag in uh, three audio files. I'm going to drag a beatbox, a chicken, and a bell pepper and those three sounds like this chicken and bell pepper mm, nice so you drag in uh, drag and drop the audio files and you load audio file click and we are going to press start palindrome and it's going to generate a sound something like this Okay, yep, that's it. So, uh, let's make sure that what we are, uh, when you talk about palindrome, we know uh, what it means. So, palindrome is something that you can read the same way when you read it forward and backward, like these kind of words, right? You can read kayak backwards and it still is a kayak and there are certain numbers. Those are, uh, basically reads the same when you read from here to here to here to here. Now. Uh, how my idea was try to kind of implement this idea into the sound. So are there any sounds that will exactly be the same when you play from beginning to the end or end to the beginning? And it involves a uh, classic processing technique uh, called reverse. So here's the uh, sound of the bell pepper again. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so sound of the bell pepper here. Solo. And in any kind of audio program, you can select those files and then process it and make a reverse version of that, a reverse, right? And when you reverse it, what you are going to get is this sound. Like this. So, forward and backward. Making a spelling drum using forward and backward is quite easy. You just put them together and then they will look like this, which visually looks palindromic right here and here but also sounds the same when you play backward and forward okay so that's a palindrome that you can make using a program like Odyssey and use uh, copy and pasting and reverse function now APG does this with three sounds and also automatically um, places them in a uh, different positions. Now you can also choose the randomization of the pitch going from 0 to 100%, 0 to 1. And also you can change how many times each sample will be repeated and palindromized in one run. So here, uh, let me just make a very simple one. Let's just not have any random pitch uh, variation and every 
piece every uh, file will be having just one palindrome, one forward, one backward, and it sounds like this. So now we are going to make some variations, make some pitch variation up to 50% higher. And let's make beatbox repeat four times maximum and uh, chicken just maybe three and lots of uh, bell peppers. Okay. Now notice that this is the random repeat range. So I'm not actually going to make exactly eight repeats, but it's going to be maximum of every piece per run okay so here i'm going to make this one while i'm recording i'm gonna check record at start and now we make one And it, auto, it will automatically stop recording and here's the file we just made. And let's just prove that this is a palindrome. So here's this sound we just made. And you can see that from the middle of it, it looks, it has a mirror image. It has a, a palindromic image too. So uh, let's just make sure that it's same when we are reversing it. I shouldn't see much of a difference except the number of silence, the length of silence at the beginning and ending. There you go. Yeah, so beginning. Now we're going to reverse that again. And it sounds the same. We have just made a uh, uh, audio palindrome. Okay, so that is it. And I, th I think uh, if you use your own sound and if you use the sounds that you're familiar with, it's gonna be more interesting uh, to play around with this APG. And I hope you uh, enjoy using it and make some interesting and creative usage out of uh, uh, APG uh, app. Right, I see you next time. Thank you.